Okay, so quick refresher. Remember, what we're working with right now is categorical data. And remember, we want to call that qualitative data. Now, you're going to have to be familiar with creating a bar graph, a pictograph, a circle graph, or which we also call a pie chart, and a line graph. Got it, what it was for, for a second. Anyway, quick refresher on the bar graph. What we did is make sure we create the title and also notice over here we lay out what our categories are. So your bar graph can either be horizontal or it can also be vertical and I'll show you an example of that here in a second. Actually, let's go through. Oops. And there's an example of a bar graph that's vertical as well. Notice pretty much the exact same thing except our axes are switched up. Also notice that we have a scale. Remember, you don't have to go through and write down every number, but at least write enough where it's not messy by skipping amount, uh, quite a bit of numbers, but you also don't want to skip too much because then doing your bar graphs will be kind of hard to read. It doesn't really have to be accurate, but what I want you to do is go through and make sure you tell me how many you have in each group. And that'll make things a lot easier to read. Pictograph. Basically what a pictograph is going to do is going to have a visual representation. Usually it has something to do with what you are working on. So in this case right here, since we're doing favorite cookies, we'll use class 2 as data. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a cookie. And since chocolate chips is my personal favorite, what I'm going to have to do is a pictograph has to have a key. So I'm going to draw a cookie. It can be a little chocolate chip, whatever. But we're going to let that cookie represent so many people. Now, since our numbers are pretty small, if you look, the biggest we have is 17. I'm going to let one cookie represent two people. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through, and since we're going to do chocolate chip first, if I have 17 people, I need to draw, what, eight and a half cookies? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I need to do a half a cookie to show that it is not a full person. So what we have here is we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 people. So we got eight and a half cookies. And it's not going to hurt. We can go ahead and put our 17 right above so we know how many we're working with. When I do the sugar, I'll draw two cookies. So there's my four people. Peanut butter, I'll just draw one cookie. For two people, M&Ms, I will do two cookies. For four people, Snickerdoodle, I'll have to do four and a half cookies since we have an odd number. So one, two, three, four, there's eight, and then my half cookie as well, that gives us nine. Macadamia nut, one, two, three, so six cookies, so I'll draw three. Oatmeal, I'll draw four cookies, so one, two, three, four, and notice I want to kind of keep everything about the same. I kind of went off over here with the chocolate chip, but the kind of the nice thing about a pictograph is you can get a pretty good idea of how everybody responded because obviously it looks like chocolate chip was the most popular choice, which if you ask me, makes perfect sense. But we can at least use this to kind of compare what exactly our poll provided 